guys, it's B Mars from the Mukbang Monday channel, and today I am going to be sharing with you my family's chili recipe. I'm super excited. Um, I think this recipe comes from my grandpa actually. When he was a firefighter, this is what they would make at the firehouse. And today I'm going to be veganizing it so I can share it with Chantal. All right, let's get into the ingredients. The first thing you will need is ground beef or ground turkey if you want to be a little bit more healthy. If you want to be vegan, this is a great option. It is Smart Ground by Light Life or you could also just use a second kind or more beans to make it vegan. You'll need one or two cans of chili beans, which is basically kidney beans and a sauce. I got hot chili beans because you know I like a spicy. Two cans of tomato sauce, one packet of chili seasoning, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, which I hope I'm saying right, one tablespoon of white vinegar, which is in there, one teaspoon of hot sauce or Tabasco sauce, whichever you prefer, two to four tablespoons of brown sugar, depending on how much beans you put in. So I put in four tablespoons because I'm using two cans of beans. And then for spices, you need one tablespoon of dry mustard, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, and one tablespoon of paprika. First thing you're going to do is cook your ground beef or meat substitute on the skillet until it is brown. And now you're gonna start adding all of your ingredients into the crock pot. The last ingredient you will need is a half a can of water. Slosh the water in the chili bean cans and tomato cans to get all the remaining good stuff out of them. So now that everything is in there, you turn on your crock pot and you're gonna cook it on low cook for four to six hours. And don't worry, I'm gonna list all the ingredients and the instructions in the description box below. Welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, B Mars. And Shanti. And we're eating something extra special today, which, which is chili. We thought that this would be a great kind of fall, November, cold weather, warm, you cold, dark, hot type of recipe. <laughs> <laughs> so before this, you kind of watched um, my recipe video, which I mentioned has been passed on from my grandpa, I believe. Aww. From the firehouse. Fam recipe. Yeah. You'll love to see it. I'm excited to share it with you. And on the side, I made some cornbread muffins. This is cornbread from Mix, and then I made it vegan by substituting the eggs and milk. And what do you have? So this is kind of a weird, <laughs> a weird thing that me and my family did. So growing up, um, I didn't really like beans, so I would only eat the juice of the chili. Ooh. And I would... Oh. And I would dump my peanut butter bread into the chili so it really soaked up the juice and I would also use saltine crackers and butter. Was so that, is that like a common thing? Or was that what you just made up I, as a child? I don't know. I have to ask my parents. I don't know if it was a way for them to get us to like eat chili because we refused to eat beans but we liked the flavor of the chili. Yeah. Or if it was a way to just like get us to have some more protein because we're assholes and we're super picky like I said in the last video. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, I'll reach out to my mom and I'll write a comment below or in the description box or something letting you know what she says. That's so interesting. What a unique combo. I know. But also like we had the sauerkraut and macaroni and cheese. Like I don't think that's like normal. Yeah. Are you gonna serve me? Yeah. Look at it steaming. I don't know if you can fresh out the crock pot. The crock pot. Since I have my instant pot, I rarely make crock pot recipes anymore. Honestly, so my mom got this for me for yeah. Christmas. I think one more scoot. Was yeah, so you can like see it in the, in the pic. But yeah, my mom got this for me. I feel like when I was a senior in college or this something. This is a fancy one. It's huge. That's why I barely ever use it because I'm cooking for one. And whenever yeah. I cook in this, it makes like a serving size for 30. So I had to make it vegan because I was like, I need help eating this. <laughs> I can't do it by myself. I think the last thing I made in a crock pot, I made um, pumpkin oatmeal. Ooh. Yeah, and it was, good. it turned out amazing, but like six hours, I feel like you sleep like longer than six hours. So I kept on waking up in the middle of the night being like, my chili is burnt, or my oatmeal is burnt. Well, do you have, and this one goes on a warming setting. No, I had like one that had like two like notches. notches. Yeah. This is a real fancy guy. And, and ever since then, I just have never made one. It's steaming. So it, I'm kind of afraid we're going to like, burn our mouths. It looks so good. I can't wait to watch you try it. 
I feel like you're always cooking for me. It's very rare that I'm cooking for you. <laughs> I know, this is special. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I don't want to go. Whew. <laughs> Hot. Hot. Ow. Oh, Hot. Ow. Ow. Mmm. <laughs> it's good though. I almost just spit it back out, but don't do that. Yeah, I didn't do that. Thought <laughs> about it. Well, can you taste it or is it still too hot? It's so good. This is another reason why the peanut butter bread helps. Ooh. That yeah. helps. It's like, do you ever do uh, tomato soup and grilled cheese? Yeah. And you like dump the grilled cheese in while the tomato soup is cooling on? Uh -huh. So it's like that. Don't. You need to dip it. Oh, hi. I just love peanut butter bread. <laughs> I like am so excited to see I'm if you like this. I'm a little afraid of the peanut and the chili combo, but I think it's gonna be great. I'll try it. Ow! I literally just burnt all the taste buds off my tongue. <laughs> this will help. We took it off the thing. I thought it would cool down more. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's good. I love it. I feel like it reminds me of my childhood. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, reminds me of like, like a spicy peanut sauce in like, mmm, like an Asian dish. Yeah. I would have never thought about that. I just love it. And also I'm one of those type of people that literally always burns my mouth on things because I have no patience. My mouth is literally scorched. So soup and chili and pizza, I always like destroy the top of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I think you just got chocolate. Mm, this is so good. With paper? Or just in general? In general. Oh. oh. Delicious. I was really curious about the vegan meat substitute, the crumbles. Uh huh. I like it. I guess like the texture. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah, because that's why I didn't want to add more beans. Because the texture of beans start to like freak me out after a while. Oh, really? So I like that it gives it something else. Yeah. So I almost just bought like pinto beans or something. And I was surprised I found it at Ralph's. Yeah. They're having, they're uh, expanding their vegan options. You love to see when that happens. They have a whole vegan section now. I can't talk with people in my mouth. What do you think the most popular grocery store is? Kroger? Maybe. Have you heard of Food Lion? No. I feel like grocery stores vary per region. Mm -hmm. The Food Lion in Virginia. Um, me and my friends used to get in trouble for loitering <laughs> and all the time because we'd like meet up and hang out in the parking lot because we're all like 16 and have nothing better to do with our lives. You have the best. So we were just wondering what we should talk about on our mukbang <laughs> today. Brittany should literally just have a story time channel and you just like listen <laughs> and you guys listen. No. You have the best childhood stories. Like, I would love to watch you like in a movie. You know um, that movie 13? Have you ever seen that? Mm-hmm. But like that's like you. Like you were I wasn't that crazy. <laughs> oh my god. That movie messed me up. I remember watching it in like the eighth grade and I was like I remember watching it and being like, oh yeah, so badass. I wanna be like them. Did you, you didn't it, like it was like oh a, a watching scared straight for me. What's that? Have you seen, okay, I don't know what network it's on. It's basically when like kids go to like juvenile delinquent. Oh, okay, yeah. What's the one that's like not jail? Ju juvenile hall? Juvenile delinquency? Juvie? I yeah. don't know. But it's called scared straight, so they just like yell at these kids in their faces and like I think scare I them to like not be heads anymore. They just scream in their faces. Mm -hmm. Me and my mom love that show. <laughs> Bonding. Can you tell any stories today? Do you have any on the top of your head that you wanna? I mean, we had a laugh. There's some, st I got some stories in my mind, but this is still my mom. scorching hot. I know. Are you eating it? I've been trying. I feel like I need some ice cubes. I have more stories about when I lived in um, Virginia, that food line. I remember like when I was in middle school, like is when you like want to like hang out with your friends and like go out and like be crazy. Yeah, and that's when like my parents were like the strictest. Like, no, you can't go over your friend's house for no reason. I was like, why? Like, literally, why? You don't really? have a reason. Yeah. Well, my parents are super awesome. They let me do anything. But well, I, feel like I mean, I had a curfew. And have I told the story about when I got caught drinking? I don't know. That's a funny story. You should tell it at my dispense. <laughs> trying to think. So. 
I remember one of the first times me and my like group of friends drank. Um, we're like in the basement of another person's house. Like their Typical. parents were like asleep or something. It was like ooh, yeah, <laughs> drinking like warm vodka and water is disgusting. Ugh. Like literally rubbing alcohol. Yeah, and like vodka. had a beer. Definitely wasn't drunk, but I remember my friend was drunk and his mom was awake when we all decided to go home at like you know two a.m. or. Maybe it was like 10, because like my parents wouldn't have let me out till 2 a.m. I don't know, maybe it was earlier. Yeah. But he was like freaking out, but his mom was still awake, so I was like, oh, I have the perfect idea. Oh, God. I'll just sneak you into my basement, you'll sleep on the couch, and then we'll wake up. Like, I'll wake you up before my parents wake up and just sneak out. Yeah, that's why 15 year olds are stupid. Wait, like, what? Like, I was like, oh, because, okay, the house that I lived in was a townhome and it was on a hill. Uh -huh. So my basement was, in the front of the house it was underground. Oh yeah. But in the back of the house it was sorry, above ground. No, it's okay. Yeah. So like you could easily jump over my back fence and sneak into like the basement of my floor and then my parents' room was two floors up. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, totally fine. They won't hear me. his mom come looking for him though? Like, wouldn't she notice? I don't know. No, I don't think he had a very good home life. Oh, so she um, wouldn't have noticed? Yeah, but if she noticed him drunk, she would have like, Hit him or something. Mm. So, huh. oh my god, you know what? I wanted to bring over the vegan cheese. Is it too late? Mm. Should I go get it? Yeah. Okay. Pause the story. BRB. All Ooh. right, so I've brought out some vegan cheese. Giving them an extra layer. I'm gonna like stir this up to make the top hot again. Oops. Sometimes Ooh. me and my family would make like spaghetti noodles. And then you put the spaghetti noodles and then the chili and cheese on top. Ooh, I don't. I think that's like a. That's a thing. I that's think. a thing. Yeah, I don't think my family can take credit for that. <laughs> I want it to melt. Yeah. Anyway, so back to the story time. Oh yeah. So I thought I had made a brilliant plan. Uh huh. Um. So I sneak my friend into the basement. I tuck him under the couch and the um put the TV on low and I'm like, okay, I'll set my alarm for 6 a.m. I'll wake you up. So. I'm literally like, he's sitting in the, um, on the couch, like watch, watching the TV and the staircase is over here, if that makes sense. So this is my friend, or this is the couch and this is the staircase mm -hmm. and this is the closet. So I'm at the closet pulling out blankets for him. He's sitting down on the couch. My dad comes down the stairs, boom, boom, boom. Oh, what are you doing with, like you just snuck out? Are you trying to sneak out? Like, blah, 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 blah. And then I did he, did he hear you. Yeah, he heard me like shut the door and lock it. Oh. You know, must have like ricocheted up the walls. Yeah, because he didn't know my friend was there. He was just yelling at me, like thought I was sneaking out. Oh yeah. So I was sitting there, <laughs> and um, he said, like, "You were trying to sneak out," and I was like, "Yes, sir, I was. Like, totally. That's it. That's all that's going on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to leave right now." And your friend pops out. No, my friend. My friend is hiding. Oh okay. Like you know, my dad's. Huge, like he's in the military, super scary guy. My dad is screaming at me, right? And mm -hmm. I'm just taking it just right up the butt. Like I'm like, yes sir, I'm like the worst daughter ever, like whatever. So my dad is yelling at me. He goes to turn off the TV to grab the remote and sees my friend and he's like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, get out. And he just pops up and he's like, yes sir. And runs out of my house without his shoes. And my mom is like, oh, because you have to remember like, <laughs> These, um, this guy and my group of friends are really close to my family. Like they come over for dinner all the time. Yeah. Like my dad knew exactly who it was. He was just like in a rage. So he was just like, get out. Yeah. So then my mom ends up chasing him down the street. Like, come back. Like you get your shoes. Like I'll drive you home. Come on. Like you're not going to run just miles books home. It out yeah, just house. books it out of the house. My mom like chases him. So then he sits down and yells at us and. And yeah, he's just like, I had one beer, I didn't even like it. And it was grounded for like two months. Oh my goodness. Yep. And then he came over for Thanksgiving <laughs> and brought my parents like two dozen roses. Oh. Because mm -hmm. it was like my group of friends, you know, it wasn't they like some him. random guy, yeah. I feel like this chili isn't hot enough to melt the cheese now. Mm -hmm. Still tastes good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a fun story. Please tell more. <laughs> no, you tell the story. I don't have any. I feel like I have the most boring life. I'll really have to think of something. You, you do, but I feel like I get triggered easily by like thinking of 
things that have happened in my past. Yeah, I would really have to think. Um, also, like your parents like woke up like drop a hat. My parents when they're out, they will they'll just pass out. Like nothing bothers them. Like, really? Yeah, I can even call my mom like in an emergency, like 2 a.m. and she will not pick up the phone. <laughs> or if the, I were to, they are just like down for the count. Yeah, both my parents I think they're light sleepers. Ever sneak out then? Not out of my house, but my friend's house. We thought it was like the, the most badass thing, thing. thing to do. Mm -hmm. Sneak out. We'd, I we'd just, yeah. Like, walk I out feel the like my whole eighth grade year was like me sneaking out. Ugh. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Middle school, I think about it and I'm like so embarrassed for myself. Yeah. And I used to sneak out and just go get like candy bars at 7-Eleven and then sneak back in. I'd be like, no, we wouldn't even do. We would literally walk down the street and be like, yeah, <laughs> sneaking out, and then walk right back in and go to sleep. No, I feel like. Like thinking about doing that in my neighborhood where I grew up, I'm like, that's not a big deal. But if my kid did that and I like lived in LA, I would beat them. Oh, hell no. There are so many like homeless people and I don't know. I always see like people I don't know walking up and down the street or. Yeah. I feel like it's just so, just way sketchier. Yeah. Than like in a neighborhood. Or maybe we just live in a more sketchy time. Bro. Can I have cornbread? Oh, yes, ma'am. Here you go. I hope you like them. Excited. I feel like I love dipping chili. Maybe it's put my roots. Yeah. Mmm. It's very sweet. This is really good. Is it? It's like savory sweet. I love that. Whenever you say something good, something's good that I turn vegan, I get so happy. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Oh. This video. Me and Chantal are going to do a Thanksgiving video. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to comment below what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. I want us to say ours at the same time. Do you know what yours is? Um, yes. Ready? Mm. Three, two, one. Butternut Mashed squash. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, just plain butternut squash? Yeah. Ew, what? Well, like no. potato? Butternut squash? I don't know what that is. Well, my dad makes it in a really special way. He like puts like sugar and cinnamon in it and like nutmeg and makes it like really sweet. Mm. And it's delicious and like he mashes it. So it's almost like a sweet potato. Like I have sweet potato yeah. casserole. It's like the, it's like sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also love um, green bean casserole. We would always make that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, but I- Come in here. I last year turned it into a vegan recipe and it was so good because it's not vegan in its natural state. It uses like cream of mushroom soup, but the sweet potato. So in the past two years I've lived here, me and Max have gone over to his friend um, Tia's house and she's kind of like had us basically join her family. Aww. And I brought my um, family's sweet potato casserole recipe. Was it a hit? Literally. I mean, it looks gross because the top is caramelized pecans. So it's like brown. So people are like, oh, and I'm like, try it. <laughs> it's so good. It's just like a pound of butter and like terrible for you, but it's so good. It's like having a sweet but with potatoes. Yeah. It's like dessert. Know, Max told her that we're not going to her house for Thanksgiving this year, and she's like, "Well, um, can uh, Brittany send me her um family sweet potato casserole recipe?" Aww. But Max said no, <laughs> because Tia is Italian and she has this um, meatball recipe that him and his roommate love, and she refuses to give it to him. She's like, "It's my family secret recipe." <gasps> So he's like, that's Britney's family secret recipe. I'm like, it's really not. Like, <laughs> don't pull me into this. But he just loves that he has like something over her. Yeah, one on her. I actually want to make a veganized Thanksgiving like meal recipe video, like meal plan. Yeah, and then I'm gonna eat it all. Yeah. So <laughs> when I make that video, yeah, you need to be around so you yeah. can eat it all. I think I'm gonna make green bean casserole. What are some other classics? I love mashed potatoes. I know it's boring, but like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make very classic stuffing. Um, oh, I need some sort of turkey. What are you, tofurkey? I was just gonna say I want to do another video taste testing different types of like Thanksgiving meats. Like they have all different types of tofurkeys now available. That's so funny. Are they in the full bird form? No, they're they're like loaves. I wish you could find like a, a bird shape. Oh my one. God. I literally pictured a bird like a a turkey shaped one, but it's like tofu, so it's like wiggly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, 
<laughs> oh my god, that'd be so gross. I bet you could honestly find that. I know. I think they do have that. You actually. could probably make it, like mold it. Yeah. I need a turkey mold. Can we make? You don't like apple pie? No, we can make cherry pie. I don't mind apple pie as long as we have vanilla ice cream. Okay. Like, that's the the only way. Cherry pie is definitely my favorite though. Ooh, we were gonna do a video eating a whole apple pie. Should we still do that? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Let us know. That would be fun. Just such a random video. <laughs> yeah. Like as a challenge video. Mm. 100 pieces of pie. Oh my god, ew. 100 apple slices. I will literally vomit. Ooh, I could do that. I hate apples. I love apples. You wanna do that on a Wednesday video? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever Wednesday. Hey guys, today I'm gonna eat 100 apples. <laughs> my stomach would probably burst. Yeah, fuck. That's so much like, what is apples, fiber? Yeah, so much fiber. You'll, fiber and water. I, in the middle of it just <laughs> <laughs> Be like a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> I like wish my life was a cartoon. <laughs> I know exactly what you're picturing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> First viral video. Uh, on my carpet. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like Colin has such anxiety about our mukbangs now. Or anybody coming in this area. Colin just bought a white carpet for our living room. <laughs> Which looks great because we painted the walls white. It really brings it all together. Yeah. Are you full? I'm full. I put too much in my bowl. I'm really full. Okay, that much. Uh. We're gonna sign off and uh, share this chili with the rest of our little family. Yes. If you liked this recipe mukbang, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below what your favorite Thanksgiving dish, dish is. Because maybe we'll make it next week. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love you and we'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday out. Uh -huh.